Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, we were chasing um, Vandalin, Mr. Dutch. And, well, he got away because of course he did. He also shot some poor woman in the back of the head, which was pretty out of character of him. Uh, for Well, at least as far as I know from the early parts of the first game. Who's this? Oh, this old chestnut. What's going on here? Oh! I see how this is going down. Let's be the quickest draw in the West. Do you now? Well, I'll certainly help myself to your wares, because, you know, that's the right thing to do. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Twenty-six dollars. Good Let's lord. Go. Well, I mean, sure. Twenty-six buckazoids is better than nothing, I guess. Oh, and repeater ammo as well. So, can't complain. So yeah, old Dutchy boy, he has evaded us once again. But it looks like we've done all of the agent missions for now. Can't remember if we actually have to do any more. Now, I do remember for the good doctor. There aren't actually that many missions for him, I don't think. So I'm not really sure how this one's going to unfold. And honestly, I can't even remember if we do indeed get Dutch in the end of the game or not. But what's interesting is uh, seeing Dutch in this game, you know, he kind of does look a little bit like he did in the first game. Uh, in the second game, I should say. And they've got the same voice actor as well, I believe. You know, not that I've played Red Dead 2 for years, but it seems about right. Hey guys, and they kind of set him up in this game where you think he's like a massive bastard, um, but that's not who he is in the first game at all, which is cool. Oh, you son of a... I wish there was a better way of advancing time. <laughs> Out of the way, dude. Right. White. One second, guys. I shall advance time. Sorry, mister. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ha <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. <laughs> Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So is it a remarkable drug? It entirely restores the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? <laughs> or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars, 
But still, uh. my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinet. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. A savage heart, eh? Good lord. I mean. <laughs> oh. A scientist, a criminal, and a savage. <laughs> what a strange image. Follow me. Oh, God. It's. So, I mean. I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vandalin. <sighs> you gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no. What is it with you people out here? No, Vandalin fascinates me. How so? A white man living among natives. Yep. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. That's uh, not how it I works. Don't know. I haven't found a name I like yet. <laughs> He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <laughs> <sighs> I love this guy. <laughs> yes, some kind of Robin Hood Oedipus communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, Buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Gustas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth reputed by Darwin. <laughs> Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Yeah, not if you exterminate the whole population of them. Trees are quite foreboding, the stars. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Uh, it's coming from the fact that we're just destroying the environment. I mean, it's pretty... Of, uh, you know what? Never mind. I don't think you're as smart as you think you are, Mr. Scientist Man. Go take another syringe full of cocaine. So here we are again, up in tall trees. Not my favorite area. The bears, you understand. Alright. Just be on the watch for bears. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. I'm Let's sure get we will. Moving, mister. All right, buddy. Right behind you. more like it. Bit of teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, don't you know?
Um, should we? <laughs> I say perhaps help him. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. All right, buddy. Uh, okay. So much for the easy way, huh? Okay, so I guess we're gonna be uh, tomb raiding our way up. Question mark. Hope there's not too much of this. One thing that I never really liked in the Uncharted series: too much climbing. You see. Ah, oh, is this gonna be the bit with the bear? I'm guessing so. This seems to fit the description that I've heard of. There's a cave over here. Might go through or up the mountain. All right. Let's see what we can find. Well, certainly. Good. This should save us some time. Doesn't look like a bear cave. So I guess there's that. Ooh. Lots of explosives. Excuse me. Worth knowing. You're excused, my friend. Hmm. This way. That's unfortunate. What the hell? Who the hell was that? Well, sounds like they're all up and about. Oh, oh, Jesus! Run, John! <laughs> Run! Whoa! So the miners, huh? Oh, this gun. That was bullshit! Is that right, partner? Alright, well they obviously waited for us to come outside. Uh... I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine, but you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. That's unfortunate. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. That's a shame. I liked him. Okay, so I guess no bear. Still not 100% sure exactly where that is. I mean, this mission does kind of sound familiar, but I haven't had a bear yet. Now, our hunting missions do actually get a little bit more interesting. Oh! Shit. I guess... I guess it is this mission. Uh, okay. Let's think about this. So we're going to have to weaken him. Fuck. We're going to have to weaken him. Let's hit him with a few of these. One more. Right, he's still not dead. I don't know how close to him being dead he actually is. I guess we're going to find out. Come here, Yogi. Now, you be listening here, Yogi. This is an awful bit of business, you understand. But one that we have to attend to, I'm afraid. 
I have absolutely no idea how much health this bear has left. Ooh. I mean, we got a good swipe in on him there. I have no idea how much health this guy's got. Oh my god, did we do it? Oh my god. Please tell me that that was that. Please tell me that that was that. Because that wasn't even that bad. Grizzly meat. There we go. And we've got it. That, that wasn't even that bad. Okay, that's definitely the place to do it. Because you're one-on-one. -on -one. Right. So... This is where things get a little bit more delicate. So the master hunter rank 9 and rank 10. You have to hunt down actual legendary animals. So Khan, the legendary jaguar. Now, there's no um, specific way. Like, you don't have to kill him with a knife or anything. you just got to kill him and then take his pelt. That doesn't seem to be that hard compared to, you know, taking a freaking bear out with a with a freaking knife like that in its that, that even when you say it out loud that's insane um so surely and i might be kicking myself in the balls here that's going to be child's play in comparison all right anyway Are we supposed to be like going up now or how is this going? Cannot believe... You know, I really thought that that was going to take loads and loads of attempts. I thought that was going to be so difficult. Oh, fuck's sake. So I don't know if the game saves, technically. So if we die, I don't know if we've got to do that again. Now, if we had got that out and about on the actual wilderness, that would have... Um, automatically triggered an autosave. But because we're in a mission, I don't think it works that way. Oh, fucking brilliant. Fucking fantastic. Get up, John. Jesus. Did not expect that. Give me your skin, you bastard. Almost ripped the run. This, uh, this bit is... I'm, I'm starting to sense it's a little bit hostile up here. Uh... Okay. Right, I guess we could have just gone straight up here, but it's not exactly how we roll, is it? Come on, John, get your fucking ass up here before we, I don't know, run into... I don't even know what could be next, to be honest. Maybe there's a Velociraptor or a T-Rex up here? I mean, why not, right? They've thrown everything else at us. There's an eagle! Not even taking any chances. No, my luck, he'd peck my fucking eyes out on the way past. Alright, so hopefully Nastas, or whatever he was called, um, isn't too bad. Hopefully he's not going to die. Neutralize the scout without alerting the fortress to your presence. Alright. Let's do it. Nice and slow. I mean, we have just killed a bear and uh, a jaguar and an eagle to get here. So. Oh, that's nasty. Right. Let's have a look at the binoculars with a green LED on. Evidence of Dutch. 
Well. Ooh. I guess there he is. Oof. You're running out of places to hide, Dutch. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. I'm well, sure it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man. Mister. <laughs> Gentlemen. Yeah. I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. 18 native. You are simple minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <clears throat> yeah, I think he needs to have his neck squeezed a little bit. You're pretty famous John Marston. Yes. Hello, sir. Hello. I am the famous John Marston, apparently. All right, so. Um, another mission done, I guess. What's next on the old docket? Apparently, not much. I'm going to assume, after a spell. Yep, there we go. We can go for another mission. But I'm going to end this one here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We are on 23 minutes. Uh, when we come back, I guess we're going to keep going uh, now from what i can remember there's a, like you said before there's only three missions with this guy so i th think we done two or will this be the third one either way we're almost done with this guy anyway so till then guys thanks for watching